at them. Is this thing on? Hi, this is Marlon. I find myself has to reintroduce myself back to you guys because it has been a long time since the last time I posted a video. Six months ago to be exact. Did I say six months? Almost half of the year or almost a whole year or maybe it's just half of the year. There is a video that we did, myself and a co-worker of mine, uh, probably about six months ago. It's a nice hit. I choose to show you guys this video that was done about six months ago. This is the video. Enjoy. It's too small, man. Like, what's, what's going on with this thing? <laughs> Okay guys, today what we are trying to do here is to get people or drivers to make sure that they inspect their vehicle, what we call a pre-trip. They do a pre-trip on their vehicles before they get into the vehicle and drive. Me personally, the way I approach it is one of the first things that I do, I, I go to my car I walk around my car and as I walk around my car, I just tap my tires. And at the same time, I'm checking to make sure that there are no, no damages to my car. Right? Check underneath to make sure that there are no leakage of any fluid or whatsoever. I would then come around and maybe I would put my, my flashers on and make sure that my flashers are working. Right? Make sure the indicators are working on both sides. So what you can do, if you pull up to a wall or you have something in front of you, you can put your flashers on, you can put your blinkers on, you can see the reflection. You can step on the brake pedal, see that your lights in the back are coming on up against the wall or another surface of some sort. Uh, you wanna make sure your mirrors are in good position so you can see your rear view mirror, there are times in your own personal vehicle too that you need to pull the hood and you need to check the fluids in the vehicle. The washer fluids, the oil, to see the level of the oil and how clean the oil is. Things like that. You gotta learn how to do simple things like that. Your safety is very important. You keep your vehicle in good condition, you drive safe, you're protecting the public, you're keeping the public safe. And that's why we are out here and we're trying to realize, we come here, man. Why is teen out of the, the thing? Sorry, I'm Listen, sorry. Man, come on, don't, this, don't be shy. This guy is shy. <laughs> don't be shy. Yeah, yeah, a little bit. A little bit? Yeah, yeah, a little bit. Come on, don't be shy, man. Come on. I was always yeah. that fat little redhead kid that's staying yeah. off to the side. Really? I was really shy. Oh, yeah. really? We're, we gotta keep him safe. We gotta teach the public, you know. To how keep, to keep Casey to look, safe. To look out for Casey. <laughs> look out for Casey and those boosted one, all right? So even your wipers, you must check your wipers when you're doing a pre-trip. And do you know that the New York State and uh, I, uh, New York State law, if, if it's raining and you're using the wipers, you have to have your headlights on. Do you know that, right? Sir, it just makes common sense. Yeah, it just makes sense. Seriously. Seriously, it makes a lot of sense. So after you finish your pre-trip and everything is, is set and you're confident and ready to go to work or ready to go to wherever you're going and you buckle up. You ready? I'm ready, Ray. Exactly. And then you drive. we're here is to talk about safety well you know I've been listening to podcasts and watching vlogs for a long time now 
probably 10 years. And I just taught my son how to drive two years ago. And I thought, wow, there isn't a lot of, uh, not a lot of education, right? I mean, the kids get the license, your, your son's going to get his license soon, right? Well, he, he's, um, he has his permits already. He has his so, permits already. So, uh, so he reads the book. You teach him how to drive. He gets his license. He goes out on the road. That's it. The kids learn by experience instead of actually being educated on how to drive. Right. So whenever I get in the car with my son, I'm always pointing little things out to him to try to get him to be a better driver. And I'm the same when I get into the car with any driver. Mm -hmm. As UPS drivers, you see, we are UPS drivers. And um, we are different to the, the other drivers on the, on the street because they don't um, have the sort of everyday on hands training that we do. Right? Every year, right. every year, every week, they're constantly on us, training us, training us, training us, right? So the kids aren't trained like we're trained. There was a, a truck spilled its contents on the southbound New Jersey Turnpike. It was closed for three and a half hours. I'm sitting in my car, barely moving, and all I could think about was how much gas is being wasted, how many families didn't get to eat dinner together because people are sitting in traffic, how much production was lost, and not even talk about stress and anger. I don't like and sometimes it's just a fender bender where somebody bumped into somebody else sitting in traffic and now they're stopped on the road and it could have been avoided. No one should hit anyone in the rear. No driver. So if you're a driver who constantly hit other drivers in the rear, something is wrong. You're too close. Give yourself that space. You're too close. You, and this is what's paying attention, right? I mean, when, when, you, when you talk about avoiding something, if, if you're in traffic and you see that person behind you is looking at their phone, you know, they're doing something in their car, I move over. Exactly. Move over, let them hit somebody else. I don't want them to hit anybody else either, but I can't stop them from doing what they're doing, so I have to take myself out of the equation. I move over, and now... The most important thing here is to educate, 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 educate. And that's what we are trying to do here. Um, from our experiences and from our um, knowledge driving, we are trying to pass it on to you guys. 25 years, over 25 years safe driving. 29. Ah, oh, see? Sorry, I'm embarrassed. Well, well 20. 29 years safe driving. That's without an avoidable accident. Me? That's how they I do. just have what, like 15? All right, so 15. 15 years safe driving. That's so nothing he has to shake a stick at. Uh, so he has 29. Uh, You're 15. on your way. You only have 14 <laughs> left. That's uh, uh, 44. 44 years of safe driving between both of us. Mm -hmm. So we know exactly what we are talking about. We're here to keep each and every one of you safe on the road. Works for me. Somebody's gotta do it. Somebody's gotta do it. Somebody's gotta do it. Somebody's gotta do it. Nobody else is doing it. That's why I love it. <laughs> Come on, man. Oh. man. Let me see you, man. See I you. just have this. That's oh. it. That's what you get out of me. Nice. I'm doing anything else. <laughs> so, no, you understand. Um, every day that you get up in the morning, right? You, you leave home and you want to have a positive day, you want to have a good day. But I want you to really pay attention closely from now on. There is always something or someone that pops up during the day to take your mind off of that positive thinking or take that joy away from you or to remove that smile from your face. And in order for you to, to think positive thoughts, you gotta associate yourself with positive thinking people. You have to read positive words. You have to make sure that you put yourself in that frame of mind or your whole day is gonna be messed up. It doesn't matter how bad the situation or the circumstance may be. Always tell yourself that this too shall pass and I'll get over it, alright? Peace out, my brother.